Hi, this is Ricky Romero with the Toronto Blue Jays, and you're watching Titan Sports Recap. Tonight on Titan Sports Recap, Titan basketball is reloaded for the 2011-2012 season, and we've got the highlights of their home opener versus Redlands. We got ourselves a hat trick as Titan Ice Hockey looks to get back on the winning track against Loyola Marymount. And we got the opportunity to chat with Ricky Romero of the Toronto Blue Jays and Justin Turner of the New York Mets. All this and more on Titan Sports Recap. Hello and welcome to Titan Sports Recap, bringing you the best video coverage of Cal State Fullerton Athletics. I'm Derek Opina. And I'm Ashley Correa. Titans basketball returns three of their five starters from last year and their three talented red shirts are eligible to play this year. They opened their season against University of Redlands and Megan during was at Titan Gym for the action. Thanks, Ashley. Titans took on Redlands in their season opener, and we finally got to see the three redshirts from last year, Kwame Vaughn, Oman Diamoki, and DJ Seely, play their first game in the Titan uniform. Let's take a look at the highlights. Oren Chin, the only player that has been with the Titans for more than two years, begins his final season in a Titan uniform, and he'll look to lead Cal State Fullerton against Redlands. Early first half, Titans up 10. The Redlands' missed shot leads to a Titan fast break, Perry Webster with the slip through pass to Amandi Amoki for the finishing dunk. Titans lead 14 to two. Later on in the first half, Titans up 27. Kwame Vaughn gets the steal then breaks away for an easy dunk to put the Titans up by 29. More first half with Titans dominating. Kwame Vaughn connects with Oren Chin for the textbook alley-oop. Titans go on to lead by 43 at halftime. Titans coasting now in the second half. Isaiah Umapeg casually knocks down the long ball. Umapeg led all scorers with 34 points and the Titans annihilated Redlands 118-68. Titans destroyed Redlands with Isaiah Umapeg leading all scorers with 34, DJ Seeley adding 18 to that. The Titans will go on a long road trip until November 26, while they return home and play against Bakersfield. From historic Titan gym, Megan During, Titan Sports Recap. Ricky Romero of the Toronto Blue Jays and Justin Turner of the New York Mets highlighted the sixth annual dinner with the Titans fundraiser. Past, Met, present, and future as players from the 79, 84, 95, and 2004 College World Series championship teams united to help the current Titans squad raise funds for their upcoming season. And I had the chance to talk to Jose Moda, Justin Turner, and Ricky Romero. Uh, when you guys beat Texas in 2004, what was that moment like? What was going through your mind? Uh, it's probably one of the best experiences of my life. Um, you know, not too long ago, I popped the DVD in and uh, I was watching it. And, uh, you know, I still get the chills watching uh, that last pop out to right field go out, uh, go up. And uh, when uh, Bobby Andrews caught it and just the emotions and of everything, um, you know, having my family there and celebrating with my teammates, it was a special moment that is definitely unforgettable. What do you think about Titan baseball this coming year? Oh, I'm excited about the uh, possibilities only because I know what Rick Vanderhoek stands for. I know what uh, his beliefs are, how he's able to get the most out of his players, how he balances that beam between, you know, of course, going to school and maintaining your grades and, and becoming a good ball player. But uh, he's a great teacher. He's a great strategist. He is more than excited. He is more than um, uh, deserving of this opportunity. And hopefully he'll bring what we all expect, which is to get back to the World Series. I've always wanted to be a Titan my whole life and getting the opportunity to go, go there and play for four years and then uh, move on to my career and have some success and uh, for Rick to ask me to come back here and be a guest speaker tonight is, uh, is a pretty good deal and, and I'm excited about it. After a rough road trip that included six straight losses, Titan Ice Hockey returns to their friendly confines of KHS Ice Arena looking to get back on the winning track against Loyola Marymount. For more on this, we turn to hockey reporter Kate Archer. Thanks, guys. Tonight, the Cal State Fullerton Titans took on the LMU Lions in a very exciting game. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights. 
The Titans were more than ready to face off against the Loyola Marymount Lions. After what looked like a scoreless first period, the Titans crossed the puck across the net, just in time for Jake Brummett to tip the puck inside the right corner, giving the Titans their first goal. Period 1 ended 1-0 CSUF. In the second period, after LMU lost control of the puck, forward Anthony Webb made a quick wrist shot, giving the Titans their second goal. Jake Bremel rushing up the side, making a spectacular shot, giving the Titans their third goal and Brummett's second of the night. The second period ended with CSUF 3 at LMU 0. Alex Sinsulo started off the third period with the goal slipping into the top corner of the net. The score stands 4-0 Fullerton. LMU finally getting their first goal of the game when the puck slips right past Brandon Heathouse's reach. The Titans coming back, crossing the puck for Jake Brummett to score his third goal of the game, giving the Titans their fifth goal, and Brummett earning himself his first hat trick. Loyal fighting hard to come back after Fullerton's tremendous lead, a second goal late in the third period settled the score to Fullerton 5, Loyola 2. And just as if things couldn't get any better, Alex Sansulo scored his second goal on the empty Lions net. The game ended with a final score of Fullerton 6, Loyola Marymount 2. The Titans skated off with their heads held high, especially Jake Clement. I mean, it feels amazing. It's my first hat trick in my, like, in my college career, pretty much. And uh, I wasn't expecting it. Like, I, I usually play defense. It's my first time playing forward, and it's pretty cool. I scored a hat trick my first time. The Titans played a great game, and the final score was 6 to 2. The Titans will take on UCLA next Friday, November 18th at 9.40 p.m. From KHS Ice Arena, Kay Archer, Titan Sports Recap. Here's your Titan timeline highlighting the biggest games coming in the next two weeks. Titan Ice Hockey will rematch with UCLA on November 18th. Volleyball continues its Big West title defense against UC Irvine also on the 18th. And men's basketball will return from a long road trip to take on Cal State Bakersfield on Saturday the 26th. And remember that you can catch our entire video highlight library on our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash Recap. Follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at CSUF Sports Recap. And find us on Facebook for our weekly video updates. Search for Titan Sports Recap. Well, that's going to do it for us. Be sure to come back in two weeks for our Season 2 finale where we'll have our last bit of video highlights before winter break. For all of us here at Titan Sports Recap, I'm Ashley Correa. And I'm Derek Opina. We'll see you guys next time.